Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through. Okay, so one more algorithm for uh, for mutual exclusion. It is nothing but a distributed algorithm. Okay, so basically this algorithm is really simple and easy to understand, guys. Okay, so basically whenever a process wants a resource, it will send a message to everyone saying that it needs, okay, that resource, the resource name, comma. its a process a name comma its time stamp so these are the three things it will be passing and it based on that values it will be deciding based on sorry based on the responses it will decide whether to get, take the resource or not okay so we'll be discussing those conditions don't worry so when a process want to access a shared resource it builds a message containing the name of the resource its a process number and the current logical time okay it sends the message to all others conceptually to itself also but there will be no issue okay so based the process status will reply to the resource so there are totally three different cases guys so the first case is that if a receiver is not accessing the resource and it does not want to access it it sends back so okay so assume that you sent it to someone who doesn't need anything he don't want the resource and he is not using the resource so in that situation he'll be just saying okay you can use it there is no problem with me you'll be saying in that way yes if the re receiver already has access to the resource it simply doesn't reply so assume that the resource is already being used by the receiver so basically you sent here but this guy is already using the resource so in that situation no reply will be given guys so no reply will be given okay so the third case is nothing but if the resource is already sorry if the resource is also needed by that particular new process so assume that the new process also want the resource then your time stamp and their time time stamp is compared so whose ever is less that is nothing but who requested first will get the chance simple okay so who re requested first they will get the chance if this guy requested first he will be using the resource and he will not say okay for him yet but if he got uh, less a time that is nothing but uh, first uh, request then he will be saying okay and he will be using in that way it will work guys okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea so this is a small example guys for you if you want okay so 0 1 and 2 so basically 0 is requesting for resource r1 so its a time stamp is 8 so 8 comma r1 8 comma r1 it centered okay but r2 also want r1 but its a time stamp is 12 okay so it sends a request to 1 and it's it also sends to 0 but 0 already wants it so it and it wants at 8 o'clock right yes so that is the reason why 0 gets a chance first so 0 is selected and it is granted permission so it will use so once all the using is done it will be giving chance to to in that way it will work guys okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on a distributed algorithm so in the next lecture we will be using we will be understanding the concept of token ring algorithm guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching